Okay, let's explain a true deeper understanding of the acronym SNOT versus SPIN so that you truly understand what these terms mean. So to do this, what I need to do is you're going to draw a box with four squares. You're gonna write actual on the top and predicted on the side. Now, with your actual, you're gonna draw a positive and a negative, and again, with predicted, a positive and a negative. So, putting this all together, if someone actually has the disease and the test predicted that they did, this is called a true positive. Again, if they actually had it and the test predicted that they didn't, this would be a false negative. If the test showed that they actually didn't have it, or they actually didn't have it and the test showed that they did, this would be a false positive. And last, if they actually didn't have it, but the test showed they also didn't have it, this would be a true negative. Okay, so we're gonna do a tiny bit of math, but I promise this is gonna make it all come together. So when we're looking at sensitivity, remember, if something has a high sensitivity and we get a negative result, this means it has a strong ability to rule out. And this is where that snout comes through, sensitivity, rule out. If it has a high specificity and a positive result, this means it has a strong ability to rule in. So SP for specificity, rule in, spin. So that's your spin and spout. Okay, going back to our picture, if we know that something has a high sensitivity, that means it has a strong ability to show if someone has it. So we would take our true positives and divide it by everyone who actually has it, right? So that would be our true positives and false negatives. And that would give us our sensitivity percentage, okay? So again, if this is a higher amount and they have a negative test, this means that it has a strong ability to rule out. All right, let's look at specificity. So with specificity, remember what we're looking at with specificity is its ability to correctly identify the absence of disease. So we're looking for a true negative. And then we have to look at all the people who actually don't have it. So our uh, true negatives and false positives. All right, from there, that'll give us a percentage. And that percentage, if it's really high and they get a positive, then we know that this has a strong ability to rule in that pathology. 